Hi everyone, I'm Spectrum News meteorologist Kaylee Wendt and I want to break down all of the things that go into a weather forecast for television. There's a lot of computer models that we look at and a lot to do on the actual computer. We use a program called WSI and if you've ever heard of the Weather Channel, it's the same company that creates their graphics. Now it's pretty interesting, it takes a couple of clicks here and there, acts sort of as Photoshop, but that's what creates all of the graphics that you see behind me on television. Now that is pretty cool, but what's even more magical is this. It's a big green wall that's behind me. This is what it looks like in the weather studio, and this is what it looks like on TV. Now how I can see is what I'm looking at is the monitors to the right and left hand side of the screen. It allows me to point to things that I'm seeing off to my right and my left. Now just like with anything, this is a little bit hard in the beginning, but with repetition, doing it over and over again, it only gets easier. And that's good news because I do the weather a lot of times per day. Now one thing that a lot of people don't know about weather people on television is that you cannot wear green or anything close to it. So lime green is out. Yellow, just a little bit of a tint of green in it, would make me disappear. The reason why is anything that the camera sees that's green, it turns into a weather graphic that is behind me, a picture that I choose to put on camera. It's a really pretty magical science. So let me show you what happens when you do decide to wear green. You disappear. So that's just one of the many reasons we have to be very careful about what we choose to wear on television. I hope you learned something from this. It's a pretty incredible science all around, and if you're interested, you can ask me questions. Thanks for watching.